Hi, welcome to another video from my CNG guy. Today I'm going to be showing you our sequ new sequential injection reducers. Uh, as you can see, uh, the base is going to come with these components here, whether you order either one of our reducers, but uh, you're going to have an option now of choosing between a single 400 horsepower capable reducer or a 250 horsepower sequential reducer. And uh, let me see if I can go into detail here. So with our 400 horsepower reducer, um, you're going to get this really long wiring harness. And that plugs into the lock-off valve here. What the differences are between the two reducers is basically the flow. And uh, the way that the internals are set up to allow more flow safely through the reducer. So this right here is our 400 horsepower reducer. You can see the output size there. Um, this is going to be really easy to set up. You have your adjustment screw up there for your pressure. This is your vacuum compensator port. This is your output. And uh, this is going to be one of your water. This is another water. And this is your temperature sensor. Uh, your fuel is going to come in here. Wrong. Fuel is going to come in here and then your pressure gauge that we supply will come over here. Uh, this reducer is very high quality. Um, I'm, I'm really proud to say that you can achieve a 400 horsepower car, which is basically any pickup truck, with just one reducer instead of needing two. Now these are available as an option upgrade from our base kit. This one here you can buy with any kit, and a lot of people choose to buy a smaller reducer and uh, this is the new reducer that we are going with, uh, Tomasito Lovato reducers. This is your lock off. And you can see that it's uh, a little bit different. The uh, output is a little bit smaller for your, uh, your fuel output supply. And uh, yeah, this is adjustable too. There's a little nut up there that tightens and loosens. You can move the lock off however you need. But it's basically the same thing. You have your uh, adjustment screw, idle compensator vacuum port, output, water, and then you're going to have your fuel in, and then this is where your CNG gauge will go. Uh, as far as size difference goes, uh, they're about the same. Yeah, the other one's just a tiny bit smaller, probably a half inch total smaller, not very much. But uh, as far as the output goes, you can definitely tell that the, the size of this nozzle is a lot smaller. And then um, this one's a little bit com more compact. But um, these are available to you at any time. Uh, these are the only two reducers that we're offering at this time for sequential injection. And just let us know uh, if you have any questions or comments. And check us out on YouTube. Thanks.